Hi, this is Jason with Family Search Indexing. Today's video is going to be on a quick review of the new review process. We've made some changes since our last video, so let's take a quick tour of what's new. So you can see here that I'm on the Family Search homepage. I'm going to click on Indexing, and I'm going to go to Web Indexing, which is my personal indexing page that shows the batches I have open and shows my statistics and messages and progress graph and so forth and so what I'm gonna do is I could either use find batches to find a project and click review to open a review batch or I can click one that I are, have already checked out you can tell the difference here with these icons the check mark on the red one is a review batch and this orange icon is an indexing batch and just so you're all aware you can click manage if you want to return some of these batches you can do it that way so I'm gonna come back down here to my US Idaho review batch I'm gonna open that up so again what we're doing here is we're checking the work of someone who's indexed this batch of images and we want to ensure that they did the work, uh, you know, that we're just checking it, we're making sure they follow the instructions, that they found all the records or entries from these images, that they've done things correctly. If there's just a handful of problems that you find, you, you can fix those. If you find that somebody has missed a lot of records or they've done it completely wrong or they've put in lots of garbage records you can always click up here on batch and send this back for re-indexing and this will send it back and have another indexer uh, do the indexing on this. When you click this if the data was good that they entered and they just didn't do it all you can keep the data that they started if you find there's lots of garbage in there that's no good and it would really be easier to start over you can click to delete the index data and then you would click return batch for re-indexing not going to do that here but we don't expect reviewers to do full indexing you're welcome to if you choose but just remember you're there to review and move through the records and if it's not a batch that's been done correctly always keep that option open that you can click on batch and send back for re-indexing let me just clarify if you return this batch all that means at this point is you don't want to finish the review of this batch and you're returning it for somebody else to do the review so there's a couple of options there that can be confusing when you're done with reviewing you submit it if you don't want to do this batch you return it and if you think the batch should be re-indexed by another indexer you can click to re-index so in this new process of review you'll find that before there were green check marks on everything and with the new review process now it's just an empty box and if you use your mouse you can click on that box and what that means is I've looked at this this image should be indexed and I'm confirming that this is the right entry if this is not the right entry and they should have marked one of these other choices you could click one of those and then it will show that you've changed this and it will also allow you to uh, revert your choices so let's go ahead and click on that one that we've reviewed it and we can step through these one at a time for this example I'm just going to click next and then click the checkbox on each one now you can say I'm into the entries step two and there's an empty box next to each field and there's a couple of options here. People have different styles of reviewing, different preferences, and we've tried to accommodate those. So what I can do is rather than use my mouse, I can tab through the fields. And you'll see once I tab, this green check mark appears without me having to click. So I'm just going to tab through, and all of these get marked with green check marks, meaning I agree with what the user has done. And what you should be doing is zooming in on this image and you should be looking at this data and making sure that they've done this correctly. Don't just tab through the data without checking it or we don't get any quality. 
So it's really important that you check every single field and don't make any assumptions. So when you've gone down through these fields, you get to the bottom. I'll keep scrolling. Okay, this is the last field of data. You'll see that it jumps here. It knows that I've checked every single box, so it automatically clicked this box to say that I've verified every field here. And I can just hit tab again. And do I want to create another entry? Well, what that would mean is they put in one name here, but they only captured one entry. If there was if there was more than one record on here, then you would want to create that next entry. Sometimes in uh, things like registers, there'll be multiple names in a table that you'll do. For this, let's just say there's only one uh, entry here. So I'm going to tab again and go to next image. So if I just keep tabbing, I get to that next image and I hit enter, then I'm to the next image. So if you like the keyboard, you can just use tab and enter and pretty much go through this pretty quick. Now let's say that I find this name isn't correct and this really is Rassi then when I change that and tab to the next field I get the red revert icon so that tells me I've made a change now if I keep going through these I get the green check marks now if I look back at this and go you know they really were right with the RAST or I can't remember what was there and I'd like to just check it again I can click the red revert arrow and it will remove the the arrow and the check mark and it will put it back to what the user typed originally and you'll notice that this is bold and once I tab through this it's no longer bold and there's a green check mark so that helps me see that anything that's in bold I haven't reviewed yet so I can tab down through these and I should always be checking to make sure the data is right. And I go through all of these. Now, let's say these are all blank and I don't want to bother checking all of these. If I've really done my homework and I've reviewed every field, I can take my mouse and click here on the I've reviewed every field box. And it will go back and it will put a check mark in every field that didn't have one before. And if I change this one, you see the red arrow, and let me uncheck this. My red arrow is still there, my change is still there, and I click here, it'll put green check marks in all of the other fields, but it leaves this one with the red check mark showing your change. So you go through every image, every entry on every image. So this one has two entries. I can go to the next one and, and check that here. And it's really important to scour every image and make sure you've gotten all the data, that the person has entered it correctly, that they've done all the entries, and that they've gone through every image. Another thing that's important when you review is that you become very familiar with the field helps, that you've read these, you understand what goes in this field for this project, that you've read the project instructions. So I can click these to expand them. And you really want to study these when you start reviewing and make sure that you understand what this project is expecting from an indexer. You can go through, you should be going through all of the examples and become very familiar with that. Then as you review, you'll understand what the nature of this project is and what's expected. Sometimes there's special instructions in a field and it can be different from another project so it's important to do that correctly. And then when you're done you submit it goes through quality check just like an indexer does and you will have done your job. It's very important that you check the data. If you don't check the data we get bad records and people can't find their relatives and we really want to make sure that we're getting the best data possible but we always encourage you to do your best and don't worry about perfection. That's what the review process is for. So thank you so much for all your good work.